I like these fellas' company, and we all like going, going around together. We've got nothing to do here, so we just stick together. You're bored? Yeah. What is there to do here? There's nothing. 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 Many of our best gangs were born out of disaffection with the Pakia system. They took their names from Shakespeare, the mongrel mob, black power, headhunters, Mormons and stormtroopers. People said, if you go near the gangs, they'll do you over, you know, they'll beat you up. We were told that and they'd break the cameras. Would you think you that... you get scared? Well, we got scared. No, Would you we be wouldn't scared? do that. Well, you, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. Now? No, no. Oh, well, we're not troublemakers. We don't go looking for anything, but if anyone wants to step us out, then we'll finish it. Although less visible and far less threatening, the Pakia had their own gangs, but they were far more mobile than their brown-skinned brothers. The Hells Angels were white trash in Excelsius, and this documentary made in 1972 has until now never been shown. It was considered not to be in the public interest. Because we're Hells Angels! <laughs> Yeah, that's, why. <laughs> that's why, mate. Because we're hell's angels, mate. <laughs> why are all of them? Uh, some people join the army, some people join the Salvation Army, some people join bowling clubs, some people join <laughs> tennis clubs, I join the hell's angels. If people, uh, you know, like they sneer at you and you have the odd blue and all that, well, that's fair enough. You know, all, all the blokes that have got a patch or what, are going to get a patch are going to back into the limit. I think they're, I think they're diminishing. It'll be interesting. The police always used to publish numbers. We don't hear so much about them now. Now and again, some of them murder one another. That's excellent. And I don't know why the police don't encourage it, you know. Well, it's true that the gangs were involved in all manner of illegal activity, including the sale of illicit drugs. Cheer, bro. They were also pioneers of other far more positive enterprises. The mongrel mob opened our first ever wellness centres and even offered an early form of aromatherapy with a fully equipped Pilates studio in Hastings. The Black Power counted with a highly profitable string of vegetarian restaurants. Sadly, the stormtroopers misjudged the tech boom, opening a string of internet cafes well before the arrival of broadband. The internet cafes may have been a financial disaster, but thanks to some canny investments in a certain company called Microsoft, the gang made enough money to fund their own America's Cup challenge. So, despite their bad reputation, by the 1990s, the gangs had gone from being troublemakers to tribute makers. <laughs> Great white troublemaker Sir Robert Muldoon finally relinquished his portfolio in 1992. It was the Black Power who provided the most memorable memorial. Well, it's easy to blame Maori for most of our troubles.